well, sex sells. And um, they're trying to get people, I guess, more into the cosplay community or to look into it a little more by providing these, like, sexy cosplayers, male and female alike. And honestly, um, it's working. Like, it sells. Like, it's just, that's the way it is. It sells. And I don't think that they should put it in a negative way. Like, some of the media says, like, oh, like, look at these. Like, they're just sexual cosplayers. They don't even play games or they don't do this. Like, I just, why do you care? <laughs> like, they dress in sexy costumes. They go to conventions. That's just the, what they do and leave it at that. Like, there should be no negativity at all towards any of that. I don't think that's right at all. I see them and they focus a lot on just how sexy the costume is, not necessarily the craft that has gone with it and what time and effort they've put into it. So instead of just being like, oh wow, look at these sexy cosplays, yeah, okay, cool, like they are really sexy cosplays, but I would like to see like more of the process each cosplay was made. Like how the, f like how the hell do you get those latex to make your boobs that perky? Like how do you make it so it fits your curves or fits your body perfect you know what I mean like how does it get you to that sexy point where wow that costume looks really good on that cosplayer like I want to know about the how more like yeah like because I could look up the cosplayer myself and see pictures of them in their sexy cosplays but like I want to know like an article about how it's made rather than just the sexy part of it I do look at those because I like to see all the different ideas and how sexy cosplayers are because we are we're hella sexy and we could go around doing whatever we want in our sexy costumes so it's really fun to be able to have it to have an outlet where you can dress how however and it's pretty much accepted and open for the most part 